Hello, this is the second video about carving such thin lines in the mesh. A little bit complexer, I think. Here are some examples such uh, on, on such hard surface objects and or on a face or here. So the to do this you need a a high resolution mesh i think i don't see a other way um, and there are a, first the boolean operation you subtract one object from the other and the other thing is use a mask and scale and the gizmo scale okay so i bring in a box so Let's trim the box a little bit, hole filling is on, and let's use the symmetry. So, okay. Let's see, the wireframe is okay. So, one option is to use the tube tool. The tube tool with a pass and create here a line. Press the green dot. You can adjust your radius and make the, the white dots black. And at the top is a snapping function. Turn it on and now you can place here your your notes something like this and there's an option to close the whole thing and here you can yeah place your your notes nicely on the surface It's possible to adjust the division, the X division to four. Let's see the wireframe here. And in the solo view, you see now the tube is a, a square tube. So, and you can adjust uh, or increase the Y division like this and here in the scene you can hide your tube select the main object and now use the voxel merge and you can Test it with keep sharp edges and you need a real high resolution. And then voxel merge the whole thing. So, and then you get a, such lines in the object. Here. And it's also possible to give the liner color paint all now it's golden and when you voxel remesh it you have a golden line but it's always a little bit shaggy this is uh, there's no no way with a with a round all brush you can smooth the line then again a little bit 
then you get a little bit of cleaner cleaner edge so and the next option is to use a mask the biggest problem is to create the mask i think um, use the cell mask polygon option and draw a line make the dots black and start here and bring in more nodes something like this make sure that the mask is not on unmask or unmask and mask this here and then create uh, a new mask but with a, at the left side unmask and draw again your line so and place your nodes I think this is the fastest way to create such such lines um, one problem is there's no undo <laughs> for the for the mask and then now you have your line and with a mask it's possible to give the mask a shell thickness and in also negative 0.5 and yeah extract the whole thing in the solo view it looks like this oh we created two masks i think there was front facing vertex was not active and So now the other mask is gone. And there's also the, the option here to engrave emboss. Here press engrave emboss and So you have your your line here. The other option is the gizmo. You can use always the gizmo for something and when you change the pivot Oh, they are snapping on. In a direction like this. And then you can use the scaling. Like this. Then you get your line outside. or inside or invert the mask you have different options okay and a last thing then I think it's enough you can bring in a box where is it so you can resize your box and yeah adjust it like this and in the topology of the box division x zero so 
And when you use the insert tool with clone active, you can place here your, your box, adjust here the, the dimensions of the box and you can bring it here in position where you want. And yeah, this is how deep you cut this thing. And now it's possible to use a clone here, clone, clone, or you can add a array. And let's see where my array is. Here and so and when you're happy with the array you can validate it join the children and this is the object you want to hide and this is the object you want to subtract this one and now voxel keep sharp edges so and here you have your cut out lines okay i think it's enough with the lines. Have fun with sculpting. Ciao.